Newhouse and Preston.
entire career. Kilmer really got big pressure that time and dumped it on a giant helmet, I think. Let's take a look at it. Good pressure by the Giants. And we've told you, the people up front, there's Archer, number 77, being doubled. Gregory's all the way back. One of the great sackmen has Billy by the shirt, and he dumped it right on Martin's headgear. And now it's sort of a jump ball. Third and 20. So far, Kilmer has been able to convert on third down. Ball back at the 20-yard line. Thomas with not much room. He'll settle for three. Here comes the big leg. I wonder what he's listening to. Some peaceful music. <laughs> Some bluegrass music. <laughs> at the 18, he'll put it down at about the 25, so make it a 35-yard effort for Mark Mosley. He hit one from 53 last week, the longest of his career. I wonder if he's been worrying about everybody worrying about his big right leg. Well, the Cowboys are saying he's got an illegal shoe on. He didn't worry too much about that one. <laughs> 35 yards away, Mark Mosley puts the Redskins on top first. So, with 10 minutes and 49 seconds left to play in the first quarter, Washington leads New York 3-0. Schlitz Light Beer has a third fewer calories than our other fine beer, and all the taste beer drinkers expect from Schlitz. Is that what he always drinks? Yep, it's his beer. It's the only light beer with gusto. Oh, yeah? Schlitz Light. Beer drinkers know it took Schlitz to bring the taste to light. When you're looking for tires that put teeth in winter driving, drop in on the Snowbiters at Firestone. Look at them. Two sets of deep, biting teeth that really gobble up snow. But they don't take a bite out of you. Right now, a polyester cord snowbiter is just $20 plus federal excise tax. And you can charge them. For quiet running, long mileage, and plenty of traction, Firestone Town & Country Snowbiters. Redskins three, Giants nothing. Pat Summerall with Tom Brookshire at RFK Stadium. And the nation's capital, Mark Mosley, just hit a 35-yard field goal to put the Redskins on top. Bobby Hammond, number 33, and Gordon Bell, 25, deep for the Giants. Cincinnati 7, Denver nothing, first quarter. Look out for Hammond. He is one of the real good run-back people I've ever seen in this league. Mosley kicks it high. This time it's high and short. It's going to be Bell at the 21. About the 28th. Pete Wysocki, one of the tacklers. Let's watch him. Okay. As you said, Pete's a new man now. He's the special team warrior of a couple of years ago that was sensational, but you said his haircut looked like it was done by the Toro people. <laughs> <laughs> Got into it. And it's different. <laughs> first down, Giants. Joe Pasarczyk, the quarterback. Ball at their own 28. The first offensive possession. Zanka and Coter, the running backs. Pisarczyk, who only threw six last week, is throwing on first down. Intended for Doug Coter. But the coverage was good. Let's watch now on the giant bench as John Mendenhall takes a little rest. Oh, what a football player. Every day the same. About as good as you can play it at the nose or in the down four. There's Coter, who the Redskins really respect as a running back. That's the New York backfield we were just talking about. Joe Pisarczyk, number nine, the quarterback, the receivers. Jimmy Robinson, Johnny Perkins, the rookie from Abilene Christian, is wide. And Gary Shirk, the tight end, in place of Bob Tucker. I'll tell you about him in a minute. He did not make the trip, by the way. Schroeder being chased by Brundage. And taken down by the huge defensive tackle. Seven-yard loss. Van Horn has to clip him, really. Watch to the right of your screen. You'll see Brundage just beat the block look at this as soon as the pulling took place he saw it coming even from behind you can't get him and Brundy just playing on a bad wheel that he received down in Dallas that had to be a missed assignment 
The defensive line, those familiar names of McDowell, Brundage, Dyron Talbert, Dennis Johnson, those are the linebackers. And that's the secondary. Zanka, straight ahead. Dyron Talbert was lined up in front of the offensive center, Carl Chandler, and he just took himself right out of the play. About a yardage, though, for Zanka's first carry, and he loves the real grass. Dave Jennings will enter. The giant punter. Eddie Brown back deep. Number 25 for Washington back there by himself. They may be coming, too. It looks like it, doesn't it? No, they're not. A little bit of a line driver. Eddie Brown headed left. Away from one. They had a wall set up, but the covering team did a good job. Peterzak got downfield and really made fast Eddie Brown run too deep. Peterzak doing a good job down there that time. Ernie Jones made the tackle. And Bill Kilmer, an offensive group back on the field. There is a flag down, however, on the far side of the field. I think it must be clipping. Freddie Wyand, who played here with the Redskins, a left-handed quarterback he was from West Virginia. In fact, there are two quarterbacks. Personal picks. foul, clipping, number 88. There it is, number 88, top right. Sandy Grossman picked that one up. Grossman hey. could almost be an official in this league, couldn't he? Or a director. <laughs> yeah, maybe a director. So the Redskins break the huddle, but we'll wait a minute. It is Washington three. The Giants nothing. <laughs> Introducing the Ford in your future, the new Ford Fairmont. A new car designed for today and the years ahead. At 33 miles per gallon highway, 23 city, Fairmont has the highest mileage ratings in its class. Yet it has 90% of the head, leg, and shoulder room of most large cars. And base sticker prices for the Fairmont line start at just $35.89. Fairmont, roomy but with mileage like a small car. And the lowest sticker price in its class. Test drive Fairmont. The newest, better idea from Ford. Should have bought Mobile One. The oil it saves you gas, you know. Should have bought Mobile One. Helps you start at 35 below. Should have bought Mobile One. And your temperature hits 500. You're cool. Should have bought Mobile One. You only change it every 15,000 miles. Mobile One, the oil that does it all. Take it from an expert. First and 10 Redskins at their own 25. Kilmer's already thrown the ball six times and only two runs. Mike Thomas. Brian Kelly. The tackler. Brian made 11 tackles last week. This telecast is presented by authority of the National Football League. It's intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the expressed written consent of the Washington Redskins and the National Football League is prohibited. John McVeigh looking on from the sideline. Joe Pasarczyk just walked into your picture. Two tough receivers out wide on both sides. Taylor and Grant. A yard for Thomas on that first down carry. It's second and nine. And Thomas again dancing with a quick feet. The best running game of the day for the Redskins. Brad Van Pelt made the tackle. Big block was by Ron Saul on Martin. Pinned him and put him inside a little bit. That is a good defensive unit though. Mike Thomas went back to the Redskin offensive huddle limping just a bit and still is after that last carry. That's what he's most dangerous. He's trying to put him to sleep, I guess. <laughs> Gilbert, this is to Clarence Harmon. He'll be shy of a first down. He's tackled by Harry Carson. Which end of the ball did Billy throw that time? He looked right and left and finally found somebody to give it to. Might have used the laces. Fans want to go for it, but George Allen is sending Mike Bragg in group on. Bobby Hammond goes back deep for the Giants. There he is. I'll try to keep it away from Hammond as often as possible. He's 
and everything to take tickets up at Meadowlands. I'll tell you, he is quite a young football player. That's Jim Stanky back there with him, number 20. It'll be Hammond at the 32, trying to get around to the right. And no place to go as the Redskins, led by Dallas Hickman, cover that 34-yard punt by Mike Bragg. So we have six minutes and 57 seconds left in the first quarter at RFK Stadium. And it's the Redskins three, nothing over the Giants. Go, Chitlins, go! Yeah. Go, Chitlins, Cold go. night, Bob. Did you put in the Prestone antifreeze? Prestone, Prestone. Who needs Prestone? Prestone, Prestone. You need Prestone. If your antifreeze is worn out or you don't have enough, you could be in trouble. So put in a fresh fill of Prestone, too, to prevent corrosion and freeze-ups. Prestone! Prestone! We need Prestone! 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 You need Prestone. This Monday night, an encore presentation of Bing Crosby's 50th Anniversary Special. Join us at 9.30, 8.30 Central and Mountain. There's the boss of the Redskins, George Allen. That's new signals today, you know. How Somebody about this? Seen. Todd hit Barkham with a touchdown pass, and that's still in the first period. The Raiders are having some problems. Shirt goes in motion to Sarchik. Gives the coder, and there's nothing doing. Dennis Johnson, number 61, the Redskin defensive end, who, by the way, Tom, has really been playing good football. He takes the inside a lot, Patrick, and some teams think they can log him or take him on down inside, but they are getting a lot of penetration against the giant offensive line, and... I have a feeling that Joe's going to have to throw the football more than he did before. Jack Gregory looking on on the giant bench. He's second and ten. Giant ball at their own 33. Al Dixon was in motion. And the throw is to Al Dixon. Brad Dusek out on the coverage. Dixon fell down. I think that the... Uh, <laughs> hello. I think that the Giants are really coming out in new formations. I've seen three different formations that really we haven't seen before. Uh, it looks like McVeigh's offensive thoughts now are let's throw some different stuff, see if we can spring some people and be different a little bit. Of course, he calls all the plays from the sideline. John Hicks is out. Tom Mullen is in. An offensive guard for the Giants. Third and six, Dakota. Coder trying to get to the outside, does not get first down yardage. A flag is down again. Gerard Williams. Well, that's in that crackback territory, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You can't run outside unless you've got outside receivers that really come in and cut. Holding against the Giants is the call, as indicated by Freddie Wyant. Holding, number 86, decline, fourth down. Holding against Johnny Perkins. Redskins, as you heard him say, declining the penalty. Big Martin, I think, I think it is. Obviously in pain. He's coming back off a knee injury. That looked like a shoulder problem. Here's Jennings. I kick this time and a good one. Oh boy, that's a hanger. It'll be fielded by Eddie Brown again. He gets away from one man. Gets away from two men. Swings back to the outside. Eddie Brown to the 35, to the 36. Johnny Perkins made the tackle. He's a mean motor scooter, I'll tell you. Eddie Brown can find where it's happening. He was supposed to go outside, but sort of changed direction. 44 yards hunt by Jennings. 20-yard return by Brown. 3-0, Washington. I'm yours. I don't go with very women. What are you doing? You're not Renata. Renata, this is my Mercedes. Who oh, tied tin cans to my Cadillac? Cadillac, that's the Granada. Alone at last, beloved. Beloved? Where's my bride? You got that Mercedes with another man. Another man? The new Ford Granada. One way to tell it from Cadillac or Mercedes is its sticker price. When America needs a better idea, Ford puts it on wheels. Are you still chained to? Gotcha! The rechargeable Norelco rotary razor lets you walk away, free from nicks and cuts.
Its 36 surgical steel rotary razor blades are safely protected inside three floating heads to give you a comfortable shave that's razor close, razor smooth for up to three weeks on a single charge. The rechargeable Norelco Rotary Razor. It lets you walk away from gotcha. Young girl, I saw, RFK State, excuse me. Saw her at the Smithsonian yesterday. Did you? Human Culture Division. <laughs> First and 10. Joe and the Redskins have the football at their own 36, and again, he's gonna fire. In the direction of Charlie Taylor. He had to lob the ball a little bit over Ray Rhodes, and Taylor couldn't hang on. Buffalo 7, Cleveland nothing. The Browns were, of course, favored in that one. Looked like the official got in there that time. That's a, C uh, a lay pole field goal for the crazy Seahawks, and some people think that may be the best young team in football right now. The Redskins obviously have made up their mind that the way to get it done is to throw it because Kilmer has come out firing. Here he is on second 10. Clarence Harmon and Mike Thomas, the running back. Straight ahead is Harmon. Outside the 40. Harry Carson, the middle linebacker, made the initial contact. Got some help from Troy Archer, who's playing good football, too. Harmon is averaging almost five yards a shot. He did that against the Dallas Cowboys when he had to come in when, of course, Riggins was put on the sidelines until late November. But he does hit the hole very quickly. And Billy Kilmer knows that. Billy's got to put it up. Third and five at the 41. Protection is good, and Thomas has the football right at midfield. First down, Washington. Brad Van Pelt made the tackle. He was being hawked all the way. It was sort of an under coverage. It was man-to-man. -man. That's Reese that's following him. So the Giants were in the right defense, and I'm telling you, Reese can run, and Thomas is so quick. I didn't say fast, but he is quick. Van Pelt buries him here. Kilmer's already thrown nine times. We have four minutes and ten seconds left in the first quarter. First and ten, Washington at midfield. Fake reverse. It's to Thomas. Everything was executed well by the defense and the offense. But I'll tell you, one of the best solo linebackers I know on coverage of somebody like Thomas is probably Brian Kelly. Brian has great speed and not big size, but he pretty ran... Right in the footsteps, didn't he, of Mike? Kilmer looks like he's pretty sharp today throwing that football. Well, we heard that uh, all week in practice, of course, nobody gets into the Redskin practices, but we heard that he was throwing the ball as well as he ever had. Somebody said, if, well, I think it was you told me that if, if he would breathe on an engine on a frozen morning, he'd get it started. <laughs> I don't know who said that. I believe uh, somebody <laughs> told me that. Calvin Hill, number 35. In the backfield now with Mike Thomas. Hand off to Hill. Ooh. Calvin leans for about four or five. Harry Carson made the tackle. John Hicks is the injured giant. Is headed for the locker room. Here's Hill. Calvin Hill, who used to do all of his yardage gaining uh, for Dallas and usually up and over, really lowered his shoulder and ran that time. He ran like a fullback. And Calvin may be on his last legs, but he looked like he's pretty strong on that. Giant bench viewing the proceedings on the field. Dave Jennings. I mentioned a minute ago, John Hicks is headed for the locker room. Third down conversions, the book on Kilmer. It's third and six right now. Safety blitz is coming. The Redskins pick it up. Frank Grant cannot come up with it. Bill Bryant on the coverage. Grant looked like he loafed under the throw a little bit and didn't think Billy was either going to go for him or throw it that far. Mike Grant's got the great speed. Always had a little trouble with his hands, but of course, as we know, is what is the total blitz? Middle linebacker Carson comes too. Stanky was picked up. Look at this ball is thrown pretty well, and Grant looked like he might have loafed a little bit. Good play by Bryant, and that's really solo when everybody's gone. Mike Bragg, who's kicked out of bounds inside the 20, already 20 times this year in five games. Remarkable. Aiming this one for the sideline too, and Stanky goes up, signals to the fair catch. The ball goes into the end zone. Looked like it was going to work out perfectly. 46-yard punt by Mike Bragg. 
CBS Sports Spectacular has a great lineup of events coming up for you next Saturday at 4.30 p.m. The World Motorcycle Jumping Championships. The Women's Junior Gymnastic Invitational. And the World's Strongest Men Competition. Those young gymnastic people are the ones that will really be our Olympic team in 80, won't they? Yeah. That was an event that took place uh, last August in Tokyo. And you'll be seeing it on the CBS Sports Spectacular next week. Somebody jump. Bill Brundage. Chandler is the offensive center. And he's a very big, strong, physical person. Former wrestler. And I think it's given the offense a little bit of uh, good feeling. Encroachment number 77. Brundage encroached. Five-yard penalty against the Redskins makes it first and five Giants at their own 25 with exactly three minutes left to play in the first quarter. Redskins lead it 3 nothing. Pisarczyk just cannot do a bad thing. He can't make a big error. Coder. Redskins shifted that defense at the last second. And they were looking for confusion, and that's what they got. You see Shirk, the tight end, keep his block on Dusek all the way around behind the behind the action. Mentioned Shirk. We were talking to a number of the Giant officials today about the situation with Bob Tucker. He is asked to be traded, and they are trying to accommodate him. Oakland 14-7 over the New York Jets now, and I don't have the information on how that happened, but we'll give it to you in a moment. Second and five. Sarchek to Zanka. Nothing doing again. Harold McClinton led the pack of Redskins that made the tackle. Shirk got into it with Curtis that time. The tight end is not only uh, going to catch touchdown passes, he has two catches for two TDs so far this year. But make no mistake, Bob Tucker was one of the class, class football players in this league. And uh, sometimes that happens where you have to go somewhere else and start it up. But I'm sure it will be worked out. Everybody is hopeful that it will be. Side check now on third and four. Did a long count. He gives to Coder. Doug Coder got very close to the first down. You see him take a look over at the yard line marker. Flag goes down at the end of the end of the play. Ken Houston made the tackle. Good blocking job by Shirk on Curtis that time. He drove the linebacker right off the line of scrimmage. Is that a, might be a face mask. It looked like there was a little tangle job going on. I think it was Houston that grabbed the mask. Face mask, number 27, first down. With a minute and 38 seconds left in the first quarter, the Giants have their first first down. Ball at their own 36. Redskins lead it 3-0. Hey, look at that score. Cowboys did not score in the first period in Philadelphia. Coda looking for some place to go, but the Redskins play the run tough. Oh, Mike they, Curtis. They play the percentages so tough, Pat. That time, Coder just had gotten the ball when McClinton stuck him right in the head. They play the frequency, and they computerize it, and they're so darn old that they stay <laughs> home and play their spots very Don't well. Don't make many mistakes, do they? <laughs> old people never do. They don't get to be old if they do. <laughs> Second and eight at the 38. Just over a minute left to play in the first quarter. Starch it quickly for Robinson on the far sideline. He breaks one. Gerard Williams, the cornerback on that side, who was burned by Dallas last week. Remember, Gerard will remember the sideline and up. That Golden Richards ran on him last week. This is the straight sidelines. Pasarczyk still a little bit sidearm, but throwing it strong and hard. And Robinson is a pesky little rascal, I'll tell you that. Don't miss him too many times. Pasarczyk, he showed you right there, has a fine, strong arm. 14-13 open over the Jets. Third and one situation here, and Zunka gets it. Out to about midfield for Larry Zunka. Brad Dusek tripped him up. Let's take a look at that straight ahead blocking that time. Let's see if anybody pulls. It's nothing. It's just wedge. It's man on man blocking and Zonka 
Well, that looked like the Zonka that we've seen before. Van Horn with a key block. Zonka at about 228 pounds, lower than he used to be. At and midfield. I'm in and wait. <laughs> I'm running pretty low, too. <laughs> the Sarchik yeah. fakes and drops and fires. Shirk lost it. Got it back. First pass he's caught that was not for a touchdown. Gary Shirk hit by Jake Scott. Another giant first down. Ran a good pattern, and this is uh, the person that Pasarczyk was looking for. Watch this. Threw it early this time. Joe is learning. Look at this. I've got to get it. Good effort. You know, it looked like a light day. With nothing to deliver but posters for the AC spark plug, buy seven, get one free sale. What could be easier, right? Wrong. Do you know how many places sell AC spark plugs? And everyone with a poster like this is selling eight AC spark plugs for the price of seven, as long as supplies last. Sure, getting a free AC spark plug is a great idea. But you better move fast. This fresh egg is going to help us sell this brand new Freeflex shoe from Freeman. Watch. You can do it with any new Freeman Freeflex. Let's use the same egg. Do you know me? In places like this, I'm not always recognized. That's one reason I carry the American Express card. It really comes in handy on vacations for hotels, car rentals, ski equipment, and tennis lessons. After all, man does not live by golf alone. To apply for an American Express card, look for this display wherever the card is welcomed. The American Express card. Don't leave home without it. Here comes the first play of the second quarter. Redskins lead the Giants 3-0. Joe Pisarczyk back to Coder. Swinging deep and not much here. Houston. Coder out of bounds at the 35 by Ken Houston. Green Bay 3, Tampa Bay nothing. Chester Marco kicked a 40-yard field goal in that one. Some people thought Tampa Bay might knock off the Packers. Pisarczyk has thrown four times and completed three. Whereas the ball control game that beat San Francisco is perhaps abandoned this week. Maybe they think Joe can handle it against this defense. Brundage looking on. A mathematics major from Colorado. Perkins and Robinson both go to the same side of the field. Second and ten. Redskins again shifted their defense at the last minute. Pasarczyk files the fires for Perkins. Joe Lavender on the coverage. When I say fired, I mean he really <laughs> cut it loose. <laughs> that was a real laser beam. <laughs> See what uh, they did to burn the Well, they're doubling up. and Watch how they're straightening up the giant linemen. They're getting them up tall and high, and they're cutting off that stunning. If they catch them up like that, they can do a little bit of running later on, too. John McVay is shuttling his tight ends, Gary Shirk and Al Dixon, back and forth with plays for Pisarczyk. Nothing, nothing, Houston, Pittsburgh. Third down situation here, and still 10 to go for the Giants from the Redskin 35. Sarchuk has plenty of time. Perkins hung on. Not enough for a first down. Joe Lavender right with him, but Perkins did make the catch. Pass protection was excellent. And Pasarczyk looked like he's moving around inside that pocket now like a, a veteran, which he is, of course. He says he doesn't like to be considered a rookie quarterback because he played in Canada. And, you know, he really has a lot of moxie. Fourth down situation facing the Giants now. Larry Mallory will hold at the 34-yard line for Joe Danello, who's missed only once this year. This will be a 44-yard effort. Plenty of distance. Wide left, however. And Danello trots away. It is still the Redskins over the Giants. The score is 3 0. We have 14.07 left to play before the half at RFK. And do you say Budweiser? Just a 
as soon as me and my eight friends here finish up and get this wagon home. When do you say Budweiser? Whenever the moment is right for a great beer. After the work is done, while you're still having fun, the king of beers is waiting for your call. When you say Budweiser, Budweiser, you said it all. With the price of most things going up, the sticker price of Pinto, the best-selling American small car, is coming down. As of October 3rd, new 78 model Pintos with more standard features will have a lower sticker price than last year's model comparably equipped. Important features are now standard like AM radio, power front disc brakes, rear window defroster, tinted glass, and protective body side moldings. Ford Pinto, more car for the money than last year. When America needs a better idea, Ford puts it on wheels. John McVeigh applauding his troops. His defensive units on the field now. After Joe Danello just missed that field goal, the Redskins take over with Bill Kilmer directing. And again, the run goes nowhere. John Mendenhall on the bottom of that pile. Kilmer has probed with the passes in four different areas to find out what kind of coverage he can expect. Look at this, Cincinnati 7, Denver 7. So now he thinks he knows where he's getting what kind of coverage. There was some doubt after last week's game in Dallas whether or not he'd be able to play at all or not. Joe Theismann had to play quite a bit because of an injury to Kilmer's left shoulder. But again, he hit, came back. Grant and Taylor both split out of your picture wide left. Kilmer sprints and looks back. Grant. At the 44, Frank Grant made the catch. Bill Bryant made the tackle. There goes John Hicks heading for the locker room. Shoulder? Looks like left shoulder. Here's that last play, the sprint out by Kilmer. And the sprint out, of course, stretches the defense on the other side to the point where the offside, if you're trailing by about a yard, which you should be, so like Grant just be, can't be controlled. Good play by Billy Kilmer. This time he has Taylor to the right and Grant left. First and 10 Redskins. Come on now, 44. Clarence Harmon trying to get around to the outside, cannot. George Martin, the defensive end, who intercepted a pass against the Redskins in the opener. Miami over Seattle, how'd that happen? Uh, Greasy? Bob, Bob Greasy uh, with a pass to, I believe Nate Moore was the catcher on that one. Greasy's pretty cool too, glasses or no, huh? <laughs> Matt Moore could play a little bit. It'll be... Still second and ten. Harmon did get back to the line of scrimmage. He is not very big, by the way, 190 pounds. And as fullbacks in the NFL go, that's not very big. Kimmer goes straight back. Charlie Taylor. The flag goes down, and Taylor, who missed all of last year with a shoulder problem, looks like he might be hurt. He don't want to come out. Remember, he had a leg problem three or four years ago, and he doesn't want to come out now, but that's one of the toughest licks I've ever seen Charlie Taylor get. He was really hit on that right leg. He's got another leg problem right now. What a catch. Bill Bryant really stuck him. Uh, Patrick, let's take a look at it. You're behind Billy Kilmer now. Never been a fancy guy setting up. But he throws it early and quick and high this time. He's throwing high today a lot. That's a great football play, and hope there's no injury following it. Bryant's helmet caught Taylor in the back of the leg, it looked like, and he's in agony right now. And back down. The top receiver all time in the National Football League. He went by Don Maynard a couple of years ago and missed all of last season. Of course, George is thinking about this particular game. Here he's talking to Kenny Houston about defense, but... Man right out there has done some kind of a motoring job. There was a penalty called against the Giants against Jim Steinke, and they've already walked it off. Panasonic invites you to take a picture of a voice with a Panasonic cassette tape recorder. Country. Things was a lot different than it is now. All with built-in mics. Some with built-in radios. There are pocket models. It should last another 50 years. And even some that record in stereo. Say something. Come on, speak. 
Speak something. So take a picture of a voice with Panasonic. Say something. Bark. What's the matter with the love machine? I think I met Mr. Wright. Watch the love machine get turned on, on our own. Fabulous. There's Charlie Taylor being carried off by Harold McClinton. Here's the shot. The back of the right leg. A good legal shot by Bryant. And a little bit of a late stick by Stanky. That was a violation, and after the penalty, the Redskins have the ball on the giant 26-yard line. Gilmer's going to throw on first down and does. Mike Thomas again. Out of bounds at about the 21 by Brian Kelly. Billy Kilmer is trying every pass play in the Washington Redskin book. He sends two backs out. Now watch Harmon, number 38, go out in front of Thomas. Thomas delays a little bit. 38's out in front of him. So this is what they call a trailer. See 38 there? You've got one linebacker that figures that there's nobody coming into that vacuum, and Thomas fills all vacuums. It's the law of nature, I guess. Second and two situation right now. 11.48 left to play in the second quarter. Houston seven, Pittsburgh nothing. Going to throw again. Just lobs it to Thomas, who again goes out of bounds, pushed out by Jack Gregory. Gregory and Van Pelt uh, really almost uh, tied the shoelaces together on 22. I don't know how Billy got the ball to him. It was sort of a jump shot. Thomas uh, didn't get many yards, but he got close enough to measure for a first down, his fourth catch. Let's take a look at this now. It'll go to your right, and it should be one of those little tiptoe jobs out of a sprint out left. <laughs> there it is. Great reception. They're going to measure to see if he made a first down before he went out of bounds. A little bit short, so it'll be third and about a half yard as ruled by referee Freddie Bryant. It's into the near sidelines from that near hash mark, and this is strictly a sprint out left. Gilmer knows when, doesn't he? And how. Redskins lead 3-0 on a 35-yard field goal by Mark Mosley. Third and about a foot. Danny Bugs, by the way, took Charlie Taylor's place. Taylor is still being looked at on the Redskin bench. Bugs is out right now. Jerry Smith is in as an extra tight end. Clarence Herman has the first down. A flag goes down. A lot of penalties so far in this game. Mike Thomas threw a super block to cut down the safety man, but they may have gotten him for actually tackling. Watch to the left of your screen. You may see 22 tangling up and blocking the safety man right there. There's a yellow flag out there. We're not saying that's the reason. And we've said before that Harmon can move. He is quick. Here's Freddie Wyant to tell us who it was. Number 84. That, of course, the tight end Gene Fugit. Redskins have been Penalized four times for 30 yards. Giants two for 30 yards. Jaworski to Charlie Smith for a 12-yard TD. And in the second period, the Eagles lead the Cowboys. That is not a final. Third down 11 now for Billy Kilmer. Tough penalty that last one if you're a Redskins fan. Kilmer drops. He fires for Danny Bugs. Can't come up with it. Ray Rhodes. Back there with him, along with Brian Kelly. Great coverage by Rhodes, because Bugs can really run. I'm not kidding you, out of West Virginia, and he's tall. Ball thrown almost out of bounds. Now watch Rhodes make the recovery from a real good receiver to an excellent cornerback. That's a tough adjustment. Looks like Ray's got it going. Joe Theismann will hold at the 35 for Mark Mosley. So this will be a 45-yard shot. Mosley 8 out of 12 on the year. And three out of six from here. Enough. And yes, sir, by Mosley. Six nothing, Washington. So with 11 minutes and 27 seconds left to play before the half, much to the delight of the Redskin fans, Washington leads six nothing. Stop 
sitting around. Mom, let's take a ride in my new Ford pickup. All right, let me drive. Hope I can handle it. This is the one that's built tough with Ford's exclusive twin I-beam suspension and a new four-speed overdrive option. Fire up. And extensive rust-fighting materials on underbody parts. What do you think, Mom? You may think I'm off my rocker. This Ford is tough. Of all Ford trucks registered over the last 12 years, 93 out of 100 are still on the job. What does your money do in a full-service bank? Well, for one thing, it creates new jobs. Sixteen years ago, Premix was started in a small warehouse with money George Call borrowed from his bank. Ed, our bank's helped all the way from new accounts to our first bookkeeper. Today, this company is international with 1,000 employees. Creating new jobs by creating business, no financial institution can help you and your community more than a full-service bank. Mark Mosley's got it teed up. That's a 35 and deep for the Giants. Gordon Bell and Bobby Hammond. And Hammond right now is averaging about 24 yards a kickoff return, but he is a better returner than that. The high kick from Mosley, and it will be Hammond at the nine with the wedge in front of him. Bobby Hammond gets to the 25. Stopped by Larry Jones. Let it go, team. Let it go, guys. That I do not want to miss. Tomorrow, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Bing. Straight down the middle, right? He's a great sportsman. What a great man. And I'm told that's a great tribute to him. Tomorrow night at 9.30 here on CBS. I like it. First and ten Giants. Ball at their own 25, 11-18 left to go before the half. Joe Fasarczyk, the quarterback. Score is 6-0 Redskins. Here's Hammond in the game as a running back. Squirts for a couple. Mike Curtis made the tackle. Let's take a look at this now from behind Pasarczyk. Hammond, a very slippery runner, a lot like Mike Thomas, by the way. You can change the uniforms, it might be hard to tell the difference, and he is a quality runner. Ed Marshall comes in in place of... Robinson at a wide receiver. The running backs for the Giants now are Hammond and Big Willie Spencer. Spencer's number 27. It's Hammond again and upended. That had to be McDowell. Might have been Brad Dusick filling inside. McDowell took the outside that time. Miami 14 now, Seattle 3. Don Nottingham, a one-yard run. That's a long run for Nottingham. <laughs> Not far, was it? One yard. Third down situation here and seven to go. Come on, the blitz is on and Pesarchuk gets away from it. Fires for Robinson. Houston back there with him and knocks it down. A fine play by Kenny Houston. Long throw by Joe Pisarczyk, who is claiming he was hit late. But once you run around back there, you're on your own. Boy, Brad Dusick, watch the left part of your screen. Looks like he has a ticket on the L. Here it is. Pisarczyk throws it a ton. McDowell goes by. Good play by Houston. You said it, Pat. Look at this. No interference and not even looking for yellow flag. The word on Charlie Taylor is that he has a pulled hamstring. It's good news. That is good news. I thought it might be something broken. Here's Jennings. And oh. What a kick this is. A rocket to Eddie Brown at the 23. And Brown looking to get to the outside. Cuts back up the middle again. Fast Eddie Brown has given him great field position all day long. Stopped by Andy Selford. But Eddie Brown back to midfield. 38-yard return after a 50-yard kick. As long as there's been a 22-yard punt return, watch how he decides once the wall doesn't form perfectly, cut up inside it. Peter Zack goes down, and now you better gather up everybody. Did the same thing at Tennessee, didn't he? He got it back to midfield. Fine punt by Jennings. Fine return by Brown, who gets some congratulations from George Allen. First and 10 for Bill Kilmer and the Redskins, and again, he's going to throw. Hey, how about this? First down. 
Harry Carson made the tackle and Kilmer. Billy brought the crowd to its feet with that effort. This is his fourth carry of the year. He went into this carry with a minus five average. Now watch this. The former UCLA tailback, and instead of giving himself up, he goes for the first down. Watch how he gets it. <laughs> what? <laughs> he just barely got the first down, but he got enough. A scramble by Kilmer. They won't believe it. A handoff to Mike Thomas, who swings inside for about six. Brad Van Pelt made the tackle. Thomas well, might have lost the football. He has a habit of carrying that left arm, and they, you can see that the left arm has almost been ripped from his uniform. There's another tough running back, Las Vegas, Nevada, to the big leagues, and nobody knew about him except the Redskins. They couldn't believe they got him. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good average. Jimmy Brown's not worried, though. <laughs> Six-yard pickup by Thomas. Here goes Kilmer back to pass again. Looking for somebody and throws. Fugit was the intended receiver as the coverage was excellent. Harry Carson closest to him. Kilmer just got it away. Boy, Jack Gregory is really putting a lot of heat on number 17. I the best way perhaps to play Gregory is to go his side and sprint out and roll that way because when you go away from him, number 81 comes comes a Helen, I'll tell you. Kilmer is now 9 out of 17 for 90 yards. There's John McVeigh looking on. Jay Fry next to him, the offensive line coach. Extra defensive backs are in now anticipating pass. Third down. Thomas lines up as a flanker to the left inside Bugs. Firing deep for Thomas. Hit him in the head. Thomas chased by Beasley Reese. The ball came down and hit him in the head. I tell you, Beasley Reese made a superb play and the official made a great call. Remember, we're at RFK Stadium. Watch this now. Pretty good blocking, but still pressure. Billy throws it early and watch Reese. He used to be a Dallas Cowboy, so I don't have to tell you if he can run or not. Great play on defense. John Mendenhall looked like he might be a little bit shaky, but he's still there. Mark Mosley now. This will be from 51 yards out. Joe Theismann kneeling at the 41. Wait a minute. Theismann calls him back. Mosley's hit two of three. Better than 50. He hit one last week from 53 that had plenty to spare. This is a timeout against the giant defense. Pretty good way to begin the NBA season on CBS. The champ. Big Bill Walton says now that he just loves to play basketball and he likes the guys he's playing with. Jack Ramsey did that, didn't he? Somebody did. <laughs> That's right. From 51 yards with Theismann holding. Here comes Theismann. Carson chasing and out of bounds and the Giants were expecting that one. I would Ooh. imagine that's why they called the timeout. I think they probably got it together, but I'll tell you, Carson can really run for a guy that carries about 235 as a middle linebacker. Watch this. Good fake. Theismann is a very, very quick athlete. Watch number 53, though. Walks right through a pretended block and inhales the quarterback and really eats him up on it. Ron McDowell was the deep receiver, <laughs> and he was well covered. <laughs> How would you throw to him? Well, very carefully, I guess. <laughs> At the 33, first and 10 for Joe Pisarczyk. Giant offense. Pisarczyk gives to Hammond. He scoots inside. Harold McClinton and Dyron Talbert made the tackle. Pretty good football game there. That's Turner's 41-yard field goal, and it's all knotted. That's the first call, by the way, we've had for number 72, Dyron Talbot. Chandler and company must be doing a pretty good job in the middle of that line. Oh, 
two-yard pickup that last time by on, Hammond. They get second and eight. Ball at their own 36. 7.20 left to play before the half. Take it in. The sergeant gives again to Hammond, and Hammond swings around to the outside, got away from Curtis, but Brad Dusick came over and really nailed him. Boy, Walt Michaels got the Jets playing good football. And, you know, they have to keep banging you, too, especially against a team like Oakland. Big Dyron Talbot is limping just a little bit. Let's see what happened. Chandler on the block. They did a good job. The penetration that the Giants were, or the Redskins were getting cost them that time. Here's Pisarchik dropping. Blitz is on, but Joe's firing deep for Robinson. Houston again back there. Kenny Houston, another outstanding defensive play. Look at this from the end zone. Of course, Houston is six foot three, is playing man to man defense as well as anybody. We've always said that. Look at this play. It's two for two where you go for the ball in the deep, deep territory and spike it away. Here was the rush and the blitz. <laughs> Here's the punt by Jennings. Trying to get it away from Eddie Brown. He's just been murder on punt returns. And the ball goes dead at about the 23, where the Redskins will take over. 39-yard kick that time by Jennings. Houston came to the Redskins for four or five players, none of which I can recall playing much after that. Had to be one of the great trades ever made by George Allen. A championship sports Saturday coming up on CBS. November the 5th, this is the series championship of women's tennis with Chris Everett, Virginia Wade, Betty Stova, all involved. World middleweight boxing championship match between Rodrigo Valdez and Benny Briscoe. It's going to be a good fight. Here is Harmon straight ahead. Fumble, I believe. The Giants are indicating they got it. They do. George Martin made the recovery. The Giants are the best team in the NFC on getting other people's fumbles. They've caused 18 coming in and recovered 11. And that is a big one. They'll take over with an offensive possession at the 27-yard line of the Redskins. Washington leads 6-0. Quickly out of the huddle. <laughs> Willie Spencer and Bobby Hammond still the running backs. Hammond gets the call, and Hammond gets very little. Maybe one, maybe two, no more. Ron McDowell got the hand out and time to trip him up. Hammond is only in his second year out of Morgan State, and if he's doing anything perhaps wrong or through inexperience, it's that he's rushing a little bit to the line of scrimmage. If he can just wait a fraction of a second, which he can do, he still has great speed, but it looks to me like the Giants, for the first time that we've seen them, are really offensive. They feel it. One yard pickup by Hammond makes it second and nine. Redskins six, Giants nothing. The sergeant drops. Fires down the middle for Al Dixon, and he got it. Harold McClinton, the Redskin nearest to him, that's a first down Giants as Pasarchik runs up and helps Dixon get up. Pasarchik is working much better in the pocket now, Pat. Of course, the blocking is very good against a very tough pass rush. Now watch this, though. Watch how he stands. Looks one time to Robinson left and finds the big fella almost for the first down. Oh, he did get the first. Dixon is 6'5 and 220, a rookie from Iowa State. First down at the 15. <laughs> Willie Spencer, who used to be with the Redskins, whirls to the outside and got a couple stopped by Jake Scott and Dennis Johnson. Spencer is bigger than Zonka, even. Yeah, and he's really tough inside. It's the first time I think he's had a lot of work, unless it was near the goal line. That play almost busted for good yardage. Jake Scott makes a good recovery, the safety man. A little bit of concern, huh? Should be. Second and eight with the ball at the Redskin 13. The Giants trail 6-0. But they're in range now. Spencer again, the ball carrier. Inside the 10. Ken Houston came up to stop him with Harold McClinton. But Spencer gave you an idea right there of how strong and big he is. He really bucked it, didn't he? You don't get a chance to see that very often. He weighs 235. 
14-10, the Dolphins over Seattle. Third and three situation at RFK Stadium. We have 3.58 left before halftime. Redskins fans come to their feet. Sarchek to the sideline, catched by Robinson. Ken Houston again on coverage. Robinson didn't catch a, a ball in the win over San Francisco. He was out there running patterns before the game like just like this. All of them right at the stick. Well, that ball is really hot when Pisarczyk lets it go too, isn't he? He fires. Here it is, the quick sidelines. Robinson said during the preseason, I'll guarantee you nobody's going to intercept this guy. He throws it too hard. <laughs> First and goal, Spencer loses it. Redskins have it. Again, the Redskin defense rises to the occasion. Dennis Johnson made the recovery. McDowell really closed down the hole, too. Let's take a look at it now from the defensive side. Watch the right part of your screen. You'll see Brundage coming in, taking on Chandler. Spencer coming straight on. They almost get Dyron Talbot out of there. McClinton is, oh, it's already loose now. Now look at the bunch go after the football. Dennis Johnson, the guy who raked it in under his stomach. And the Redskins take it over. A first down at their own three. Dallas has scored against the Philadelphia Eagles. Tony Dorsett, a five-yard run. Herrera's extra point is not good, and that's the first time in a long time that Dallas hasn't made the extra point. Brad Van Pelt made the tackle right there. I'm just trying to imagine Tony Dorsett on a five-yard run. No replays of that. Too quick. <laughs> Two-yard pickup. The ball is out to the five-yard line as Kilmer huddles. The Redskin coaches were saying what an incredible memory he has. You hear a lot of other things about him. That'll be the... No, it's not the two-minute warning yet. They had something like 800 plays on their ready list before they played Dallas last week. And he has no notes. It's all on his head. And accurately kept, even though he gets knocked around. Even used it to run with a little bit. <laughs> ready to go now to Mike Thomas. Around the corner is Mike. Or almost. Van Pelt and Carson involved in good pursuit that time. The giant defense, Patrick, has been on the field so much in the first five games uh, that the offense is really only running 51 offensive plays average per game. Dallas is running 70-something per game. Uh, that's a tough thing for the defense to play with all the time. And yeah, they do play the run very well, as you pointed out before. And today they played everything very well. The Redskins have had some excellent opportunities. As Kilmer comes over... Both coaches will be notified that there are two minutes left to play in the first half. Washington leads the Giants 6 0. <laughs> Sir, it's about time you're here. Another late night, I presume? Well, let's get started. The first thing we have for your assignment is this micro cassette tape recorder. Genius. Did you design this, huh? Uh, well, no. Actually, it's a Sony. Next is this radio with 32 worldwide bands. Can tune in just about any place. Extraordinary. Who gets the credit for this one? Well, uh, this is a Sony, too. You'll also need this ultra-compact portable video camera, and we're going to mount this five-inch color TV in your car, along with this Betamax deck for playback. Remarkable. Are they, uh... Yes. They're Sony also. Excuse me, sir, but did you just walk into a store and buy these? Well, uh, yes. Well, keep up the good work, sir. If it's a little extraordinary, chances are it's a Sony. The teams and the leaders, George Allen on the left, John McVay. Coaches do a lot of walking, don't they? They take a lot of worrying, too, and coaching is no longer a fall job. They work 12 months a year at it, and both are darn dedicated people. Two minutes left to play in the first half. Six nothing. Redskins over the Giants. Third and five. Ball back at the Washington eight. 
Rimmer had his conference, and he's going to sprint out left. He's going to throw left. He got Fugit. And Fugit has enough for a Redskin first down before Ray Rhodes chases him out of bounds. Great call. Again, you sort of spin to Gregory's side. You get that big pass rush off of you. And that really opened up. Fugit has really put a new dimension into this Redskin lineup. There's no doubt about it. A good blocker, too, number 84 is. Danny Bugs comes to the left. Frank Grant is right. Ball out to the 18-yard line now where Kilmer fakes. Going long for Grant. Almost picked off by Bryant, who was right back there with him again. Played the ball extremely well. If anything, uh, Grant might have interfered with the interceptor that time. Good play by number 21. You know, it's tough for a, a cornerback to come back from what we saw in Dallas where, you know, where he had some problems and all and still play that ball with reckless abandon like all the coaches want to tell you to. That's it's a very good place to become a paranoid, I'll tell you that, playing cornerback. You know how I am. <laughs> Coming up at halftime today, don't forget the NFL today with Brent, Phyllis, and Irv. They bring you up to date on all the highlights of what's happening around the league and scores. Second and ten situation now. Kilmer gives inside to Thomas. He stumbles but gets a few yards nevertheless. Stopped by Harry Carson. And Brad Van Pelt also on the bottom of the pile. I'll tell you, going into the halftime, this game is too close to call. This game can go either way in the second half, and the Giants on the line of scrimmage both ways, offensively and defensively, have played extremely well. This is a Washington timeout as Kilmer wanted to talk with George Allen and the offensive coordinators. Bill Austin up there also conversing as the rest of the team waits to see what he's going to come back with. <laughs> Look at that collection. How about Saul at left guard? He his brothers, he's got a twin brother that's playing with Los Angeles, an older brother to play with Baltimore. I wonder if Kilmer has a twin. He'd have to be something else, wouldn't he? <laughs> Rhoda, and on our own tonight here on CBS. Do nice single ladies go out alone at night? That's the problem that Rhoda faces. We'll be interested to see how that comes out. A lot of nice single guys would like to know. <laughs> That's tonight at 8, 7 Central Time. Rhoda and on our own. Third down, five situation for Kilburn, the Redskins. He went with a long count and he got the flag that he was looking for. Thomas struggling around the right side, but I believe the Giants were offside. It's the toughest play in football, you know. When the flags are dropping, you still have to go through with mm -hmm. it. That's how I saw Gail Sayers get his knee. Against the Giants. It's like two people shoving one another, you know? You don't know whether to go full out through the play or sort of stop. Mike Thomas looks like, again, he might be hurting just a little bit. Here he comes to the sideline. Redskins are not very deep in offensive backs. They lost Bob Brunet and John Riggins last week. And now Thomas comes to the sideline. Off sides, defense declined. First down. He's hurting. This time of the season, a lot of people are carrying adhesive, aren't they? Thomas, I think, is just short of breath. First down. He got running. They declined the penalty. A minute and five seconds left to go before the half. Washington leads six nothing. Ball out at the 29-yard line now. Giants going with a three-man rush. Calvin Hill runs right into John Mendenhall, runs away from him. Is chased down by Mendenhall and Martin. Clock still runs. Kilmer looks disgusted. Mendenhall and Hawes really locked up that time. And Mendenhall won. So it'll be second and 13, a three-yard loss by Hill. Redskins only have one more timeout. The Giants have all of theirs left. And I would think they might be using one pretty quickly. Bugs and Grant with wide left. 25 seconds left, and this is Clarence Harmon, I believe, stopped by Jack Gregory. 
That's Harmon. They're just going to let her run out. Harmon lost his shoe, and he heads for the sidelines. Thomas goes back. Charlie Taylor, out with a pulled hamstring muscle, is still seated on the Redskin bench, and it must be a severe hamstring pull because they're helping him. They're carrying him to the locker room. The gun goes off. That's the end of the first half. Redskins on two field goals of 35 and 45 yards by Mark Mosley lead the Giants 6 nothing. There goes Mike Thomas. He seems to be okay. Well, I'll tell you one thing. If you're on the Giants' side of the field, you got to feel like it's a moral victory. Still in it, only two field goals, haven't given up a touchdown, and if anything, the Redskins let the clock run out. Lenny Hawes heading for the locker room after conversations with the officials about what they want to do to begin the second half and during the half don't forget we'll be going back to the New York studios for highlights of all the games around the NFL and scores with Herb Cross Brent Musburger and Phyllis George six nothing Washington over New York <laughs> 